Hey, what's up, guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Check the description for all my information. I do the premium problems on Patreon if you want to support me or join my Discord. My Discord's pretty cool. Um, so what we're doing right now is we're doing most common word. It's an easy problem. It has some dislikes here. I don't think it's that bad. I think it's pretty cool. Um, given a paragraph uh, and a list of banned words, so we're given a string paragraph and a list of banned words. For example, this would be a paragraph. Uh, Bob hit a ball. The ball hit uh, the hit ball caps locks flew far after it was hit. Um, and then a banned word is hit. Uh, return the most frequent word that isn't in the list of banned words. So the most frequent word other than hit in this case. Um, so hit is the most frequent word, but it's banned. So ball is the second most frequent word and it's not banned. So we return ball. Okay. Um, it is guaranteed. There's at least one word that isn't banned and it is uniquely the answer. So there's going to be an answer and it's not going to be banned. So we're good. Uh, words in the list of banned words are given in lowercase and free of punctuation. Words in the paragraph are not case sensitive. The answer is in lowercase. Okay. So this last part of it is telling us, first of all, that we want to start right off the bat. We want to turn this into lowercase because all the band words are lowercase. Um, so that's something we know. Also, they're free of punctuation. So we want to get rid of the punctuation. Um, so besides that, let's say we do that, right? How are we going to solve this? Well, First of all, we could, you know, we could loop through the string and then the paragraph and then we could, you know, loop through the band words every time we get, you know, we, we split this up into an array of words, right? And then we could loop through, do a double for loop and be like, hey, is this current word into the band words? And if it's not, then you could have a max counter and whatever. But that's going to be pretty slow, especially if the band words is long and the paragraph is long. Um, we want to speed that up. So you should think when you see the word unique in a problem, you should think hash set. And we can use a hash set data structure to speed this up uh, because we can just make a hash set of the banned words. So if you have a hash set of the banned words, you could do a constant lookup and then, um, you know, then you don't have to do that extra loop. So we're going to make that hash set here. We're going to say hash set of strings uh, banned uh, words is going to be equal to new hash set. And to uh, make this faster on the uh, the counting side, we can use a hash map as well. So whenever we're keeping counts, might as well do that as well, right? So we're, the string will have the word, and then we'll have the count of the word. So we'll say valid word counts, because we're not counting banned words in this. So that's the strategy here is we're going to check if the if the word isn't banned, we'll put it in the hash map and then we'll just keep a counter of those. And at the end, whatever has the highest count in the hash map, we'll just return that. It's pretty easy. OK, so let's fill the fill the hash set with the banned words. So for string uh, band word in the band, we'll just say uh, band words dot put a band word. Right? Is that how you add to a hash set? I forget. Or is it add? I don't know. Whatever. Um, we'll figure it out in a second when we run it. Um, for string. Um, and then, okay, now we want to um, fill up the word. We want to fill up the valid word counts, but we have to loop through each word in the paragraph. So, first of all, we'll get, let's get, let's split up our words, right? So, words is going to be equal to paragraph dot to lowercase, right? We already discussed that. It has to go all the lowercase because these are lowercase. Um, and then also not just to lowercase, but also we have to say dot split because this is all one string. We have to split it up and there's, we have to remove the punctuation. So if we do backslash backslash W plus, this will split it on the backslash W is non word characters and then plus is more than one occurrence so this is like regex to split on the non-word characters and on all occurrences of that so this will give us our just list of lowercase words in the paragraph perfect um so we have those now we can loop through and add them to our wor valid word counts uh, hash map so we just go for string word in words we'll just do the classic hash map thing 
if the band, well, first we want to say, okay, it has to not be in band words before we put it in the valid word count. So if band words dot contains, this is the constant lookup here, uh, word. So if it's not in the hash set of band words, then it's valid. So we can actually add it. So we could say, okay, valid word uh, counts dot puts um, the current word and we can get the or default. So this is a classic method you always want to use. Um, the word and um, you know if if it's not in there then we just do zero plus one so this if the word's already in there we increment the count of it in the hash map and if it's not we'll just put the first occurrence we'll put zero plus one which is we saw it for the first time uh, that's just a common hash map thing so there we go we have our hash map it's full of each valid word and the number of time it occurs so all we have to do now is get the max of that so we'll set up our max counter and we'll set up our result string. This is going to be what we return. So we're going to return the result string. We're going to find the answer right now. And we're going to loop through string word in valid word counts dot key set. That's a hash map method to get all the keys of the hash map. So we can loop through them. So we're looping through all of the words in the hash map. And now we're going to say if valid word counts dot get the current word meaning now we're going to check the value of each key so if we get the count of each word if it's greater than the max well this is just a classic update the max max equals valid word counts dot get word so now we found a new max and we can update our result string to that current word and uh that should be it so um Yep, it's not put. It's add, isn't it? You know, that's what. That's the only mistake I knew it was add. You know, you guys heard me say that too. Uh, if band words, band words, not band word, right? Band words. Sorry, always. I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. String cannot be converted to int. It's not int result it's string. Okay, I suck. Should I redo this whole thing for just some you know typos? Maybe not. So. Uh, sorry about that. There's the success. My bad. You know, you can call me stupid all you want, but I make mistakes sometimes in the interview. That does look bad. And I should, you know, really look my things over before I submit to set an example for you guys. But I'm doing all these. Pro I don't know. I'm just filled with excuses. So sorry about that. Uh, one more time. You use the hash uh, in the hash map to make everything faster instead of doing all these for loops where you loop through the paragraph and then you loop you loop through the words and you loop through the band nested loops very bad time complexity these are just linear loops so this is actually saving us a lot of time we do the constant time lookups we do have to use a little bit extra space but it's no big deal and uh, in the end we just uh, you know look through. If the word isn't banned, put it in a hash map, get the count, and then get the maximum from the hash map. Pretty straightforward. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. And uh, thank you guys for supporting me. This is once again.